Hello, it's Ginger Funky Monkey here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the relic in Vault of Glass, the Venus Raid for Destiny. Uh, most of you have seen the relic quite a lot of times, it's this shield looking object, and a lot of people know what it is and how people use it, but they don't know how to use it themselves. So this is a noob guide from the perspective of a noob. Now, it, once you pick up the relic, if you want to take out some of the oracles to Hulk slam him, as I call it, by jumping and then pressing R2, you'll be able to take out the oracles in one go. Now just pressing R2 will smash into anything and kill it pretty much with one go, apart from a Praetorian which takes between two and three hits, depending on the difficulty. Okay, and once you get your suit built up, you have uh, arrows, or if you like in the middle, just aim that at the Temple of Shield and press L1 and R1 at the same time if you're on PlayStation 4. Now that will release the super energy and take down his shields as you saw just then. Now here's another look at it. Just smash this oracle, build up the super, run over to the Templar, and smash him with the super, like so. But be careful, sometimes you can get detained yourself, and if you do, just jump and press R2 in a Hulk Slam. Do not just press R2, otherwise you can get out of the out of the detainment and then you'll die because the detainment's still up even without yourself in it. Now if you jump and while you're in the air, you tap R1, it will like slash and that will help you get across further while in the air. If you need to help with jumping, it's just a little thing to know. It does help out quite a lot. And that is pretty much the method for the Templar. Now, I'm doing the method where everyone's at the top, where they snipe down to get the oracles and then blast them when I'm telling them to on the mic. Just remember, we have raids, uh, communication is key. And that's what pretty much we're doing here from the top. But if you're doing it from the, the other side, you can do it from the right side, and whenever you need cleansing, uh, you do it on the behind the rock. And all you got to do for cleanse is hold L1 for about two seconds to cleanse. Now this time we've actually missed one, which is not a problem, this is where everyone has to get that arse down here to get cleansed in the middle. But unfortunately, unknowns to me, the Templar was in the middle so they couldn't get cleansed and a few people die out, but luckily there's one or two who were there ready. And I actually take out the Templar because his health was so low just by doing that and then I cleanse them just like that. And that's how you do the Templar. Just takes a bit of time, but like I say, there's two strategies. Go on the rock on the right and cleanse people when that of course infects you, or you can just jump straight down. Now this part is the gatekeeper. I'm just gonna hurry through it because most of you know how to take out the gatekeeper. And now go if you go inside the left portal first, I would suggest which is the harder one, and go in with someone else, and then galley the shit out of the other gatekeeper and then teammate can sort of uh, cover you as you go for the relic and it's going to slow it back down here and you just pick it up as before bash the Praetorian if you're still alive but hopefully should be dead and this is where I've told my teammate I know I can get out to go through the portal and I'll cleanse on the other side because the first one you tend to get so black you can't see and now I'm through waiting for it to build up on the left as you can see and once it's built up I have cleanse and now I'm heading to the middle and then I'm going to look after the middle where they get to the relic. But fortunately, with the team I had, they were used to it. Therefore, they were able to get the other relic while we were in the first portal. The right portal is the easiest portal of them all. But I suggest you going through the left because you're going to have one player down guard in the middle. So it's just easy to do left first unless you can do both at the same time. Now, I sometimes use my super to kill the Praetorians by pressing L1 and R1 at the same time. Uh, just just sometimes it's one bangs the Praetorians, but the rest of the time I just bash them with my shield. Just do not push them through the portal because they'll spawn in the middle there and then the guys who are helping you will have a serious problem taking out the Praetorian that could teleport and wreck the chances there. Now for the final bit, which is Atheon. Now this is a bit everyone struggles with. I go through and if you're on Venus, throw grenades as they do there. If you're on Mars, do not because they are hobgoblins. Now on Venus, there'll be a Praetorian one battalion and three, sorry, two little guys. Just bang them like that and then go back up and cleanse and keep communication. And like I say, when I get my super, if I, if they need a bit of help, I can always just do that and super the oracle and destroy it, which actually speeds up the time, which means I'm more time in the middle. Then I cleanse and so I glitch, just about go through again. And then all you have to do is jump to the middle, as simple as that, and press cleanse and everyone will shoot the shit out of Atheon. And that is how you do it, for noobs, by noobs. 
So you just stand in there, let them shoot the shit out of him, and once the countdown gets to 5 seconds, do a 5 second countdown and get the hell out of there. This has been Ginger Funky Monkey, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching guys, bye.